welcome back to Rod Reacts. Rod Reacts. Rod, ah, Rod Reacts everything to India. Sorry, I got my tongue twisted there. Anyway, hopefully you have a good positive day. And if you're new to the channel, let me know where you're from by commenting down below. I like to read everybody's comments, see where they're from. But I have a kind of a confusing uh, title. It says, Why did Lord Shiva fight with Lord uh, Krishna. So we're going to react to this. And it's kind of confusing to me because we all know that um, Lord Krishna is an avatar of Vishnu and Vishnu, Shiva, and Brahma are like the, you know, the Trinity. So I feel like if Lord Krishna is fighting Lord Shiva, then it's really Lord, um, it's really Shiva's fighting uh, Vishnu. So it's kind of confusing. I feel like it's a, the gods are fighting the gods, you know what I mean? And we know Krishna is like one of the top, top god, if not the top god, you know, because he's part of uh, Vishnu. So I feel like it's a big mess of confusion, especially for an outsider, um, especially for somebody like me that's just now learning. I spent a couple weeks learning uh, especially who Krishna is, and I kind of know who Lord Shiva is. He's the destroyer, and um, who else? Shiva. Shiva is more like, you know, the Messiah, something like that. And, you know, it looks, from an outsider, it looks like a big ball of confusion. But I understand who they are and what parts they play and who they were. So we're going to check out this story. We're going to see why Shiva fought Krishna. I just want to let you know why it might look confusing to definitely people that don't know very much about Hinduism, Hinduism and the stories that come with it and the stories that particularly you learn from. But I'm trying to get it. So if there's something that I need to know that this video doesn't show because it's only a four minute video, let me know. But for now, let's check it out. Let's check it out was eldest son of King Bali among the hundred sons. He was the tenth descendant of Prahlad. He was very fond of Lord Shiva from childhood. When he was grown up, he meditated and worshipped hard to appease Lord Shiva. One day, seeing this, Lord Shiva visited him. He gave him the boon of thousand powerful arms. With this boon, he became very powerful. Banasar also asked for one more boon that Shiva would always protect him whenever he would face difficulty or in trouble. Lord Shiva granted him that too. Banasar began to be an egoist and arrogant person after receiving the boon from Lord Shiva. He then attacked the residing place of Lord Shiva, Kailash. When you get all this power and you feel like you're on top of the world and you feel like you can't lose, sometimes your mind goes awry, right? It just... It's not where it needs to be, where it's supposed to be, where it should be. Lord Shiva got angry seeing this and said that his end was near. He also said him that the reason for his end had already been born and he would notice this when the flag on his kingdom gate would be broken. Banasur had a daughter named Usha. One day she saw a handsome prince in her dream and fell in love with him. One day she told one of her handmaids. Chitralekha about her dream. Chitralekha, with her black magic, draws a portrait of the prince seen in Usha's dream. Usha confirmed that it was the same person which she saw in her dream. Chitralekha told that the prince was Aniruddha. Usha asked her to bring him to her. Aniruddha was the grandson of Lord Krishna. Ah. Chitralekha, with her magic, reached Dwarka and abducted Aniruddha, making him unconscious while he was asleep. Sounds like there's going to be some jealousy to play of uh, Lord Shiva. When Aniruddha woke up, Usha explained about her dream and how she fell in love with him. Aniruddha, looking at the beauty of Usha, fell in love with her too. They stayed together in her chamber for many days. Banasur noticed the flag on the gates of the kingdom broke uh -oh. and fell off while Aniruddha stayed with Usha. He became suspicious that there was an outsider in his palace. He finds out that Aniruddha was in Usha's chamber and then took him into captivity. While the <laughs> prince was missing, there was already 
huge havoc in Dwarka. Krishna received the message that Banasur held Aniruddha captive. Then he, along with Balram and few army, attacked Banasur's kingdom. Wow. Balram was very powerful, so he destroyed all of Banasura's army. Then Banasur faced Krishna. He was powerless in front of Lord Krishna. Yeah. Then Banasur prays to Lord Shiva for help. Lord Shiva, confined with his boon, came to rescue Banasur and started the war with Krishna in order to protect Banasur. Both Lord Shiva and Lord Krishna battled with each other. Wow. Krishna found out that he was helpless to kill Banasur when Lord Shiva is protecting him. So he prayed to Lord Shiva silently. Huh. I mean, I mean, the story is deep right here. It's super deep. Like, Krishna is trying to destroy Shiva. He realizes he he can't because who's back in Shiva, which Krishna is an avatar of, and it's just, what do you do? What do you do? What's the moral of the story? I'm, I, I'll be honest, I'm confused. Then Lord Shiva gave him a quick strategy. Krishna threw an arrow that made Lord Shiva fall asleep. After this, Krishna took out his Sudarshan Chakra and cut off all the arms of Banasar. Finally, oh he ordered the Sudarshan Chakra to cut off Banasur's head. Ooh. But Lord Shiva woke up and blocked the chakra. Shiva then pledges Krishna to forgive Banasur as he is one of his greatest devotees. Taking a look at all this scenario, Banasur felt ashamed of himself and asked for forgiveness. He also promised to let down his arrogance and would behave good in future. That's a deep, <laughs> oh, that's a deep story, and I'm, I'm a, it, it made my head spin. I need help. I need help from my subscribers. I need help from my views, because I'm not sure what I should learn from this, uh, this fight. Um, but it sounds like eventually the guy bowed down, and uh, he, uh, he knew his wrongs, and he said he'd forever be changed, but... These are heavyweight. These are heavyweights fighting, you know. Um, these are lords fighting, fighting. I mean, this is the first time I've watched one of these videos, and I'm pretty much speechless because I don't know what to say. I don't know what to think. I don't know. I don't know what the moral of the story is. So please, please help me. I'm in desperate need of help on this one because I'm my head's spinning on this one. Usually I get the gist of the story, I get the lesson, I've learned a lot from it, but on this one, I'm not sure what I'm not sure where to go on this story. So maybe I need to react to another video that explains it better, or maybe I can read one of your comments if you kindly comment down below. But please help me. Anyway, hope you like the reaction. I need help. <laughs> also, if you want me to react to something else, comment down below and let me know what I should be reacting to and I'll, I'll get to it. I have a lot of requests, so um, I can only react to so many videos in a day, um, but I'll, I'll, I'll try to get to them. Hopefully you've had a good day, a positive day. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, comment down below. Let me know where you're from, and I'll see you next time. Peace.